it is time to clean up some old projects. And the old project I want to clean up are these two SD40s. They are AHM SD40s, not SD40-2s. And I've had them on my workbench for like five years. So I went ahead, as you can see, I have now cleaned everything in the ultrasonic cleaner, done an inventory, made sure all the parts and gears are present, and they're all nice and clean. Here, now on the track, I have one that's, that I haven't touched. And these came out, I want to say in the 70s or early 80s at the most. Um, interesting about them being HM, they had, they pick up power from both sides, and they have flywheels in them. This is an untouched one from the junk pile. Has, actually, I've never run this one before, but it still runs. Okay, they don't sound terrible. They have the old three-pole motors in them. And so for these builds, I actually have three of them here. This is the underframe. And I've got three underframes. I don't know where the shell is for... It's, it's got to be in the pile of shells. We'll find it later and see what, what to do with that. And this is the motor I'm going to use for it. 24 volt. Um, it's a nice smooth motor. And this time I'm going to break one of my own rules in that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the flywheels back. And the only reason that I want to do that is due to the long shaft length that you have to make if you don't use them. And as I've said before, with the 24 volt motors, flywheels can interfere with the decoder that has really precise momentum control. Um, but for these, basically I pulled them out of the junk pile. So the flywheels in them will be okay. When they get decoders, it will probably be you know, the cheapest possible decoder, not a lot of functions, but they'll be operational. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do flywheels. Now, one of them couldn't find the motor or the flywheels. It makes me think that I got it because the motor had been taken out of it. Here are the original flywheels, two sets. I took these from an Atlas motor, and I checked to see if they'd fit in the shell, and they do, and I'm going to see if I can fit them. I don't know if I can yet, but I'm going to try that. And Otherwise, I'm going to have to make some very long dog bones. What I, Here's, as you can see, a very old method I used to use, which take a plastic tube and put some wires in it. And that's the way I found one of them with these in it. It did not have the dog bones, and it did have those in it, and it, and it ran. But they're not off-centered. See that? They're both exactly on the same side, and so it was a little rough in its running. So we're going to correct that. We're going to make a new drive shaft. It'll be a copper one. And then we'll see if we can't get that working nice and smooth. And yeah, these dog bones also, see the pins on them? They're the same. They're not perpendicular to each other. They're parallel. But it seems to work pretty good. Then, if you're not familiar with these trucks, there are two wheels that have gears on the drive. The back wheel does nothing. I'm going to, as you can see, I've done in the past, I'm going to remove these and do a better job of them. Um, I wanted to get pickup from all the wheels. And none of the wheels have traction tires. So it shouldn't be a problem getting pickup from all the wheels. And we'll see how good we can make this. Now one other problem I ran into is the oddball one doesn't have a fuel tank. So here's the fuel tank with its weight in there. And it screws onto the bottom in two posts. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have an idea that I'm going to go ahead. I don't know what these are from, but I'm going to put two fuel tanks on it. 
probably the way I got, because I got a whole bunch of these. And I wasn't using them for anything else, so why not put two fuel tanks on it? See if we can do that. And it should be pretty straightforward, since just each one of them will get a screw in the bottom. I'll add some weight in here, and then I'll probably have to add weight to that shell, whichever one it is. And then we should be rolling on these ST40s. And as far as I can tell, so far, all the parts appear to be here. None of them are broken, as far as I can tell. And we're going to go ahead and assemble these trucks. And then uh, we'll see where we go from there. We'll start working on, on lining up a motor mount. So that's where we're at right now, the AHM SD40 project.